Okay guys, so we have new information on the upcoming event, the Halloween event, Bloody Harvest for Borderlands 3. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away a copy of this game. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. So with all this new information on this upcoming event which arrives this Thursday, we also got a new short trailer. Check it out on screen now. Looking pretty epic people, I'm sure you will agree. Now, Gearbox dropped a little bit of information that we don't already know on this actual, this new event that comes out this Thursday, so let's go through exactly what they say. Do you feel the chill running up your spine, Vault Hunter? It must be the call of Bloody Harvest, a completely free seasonal event for Borderlands 3. In addition to the Bloody Harvest info that they debuted the June 1st episode of the Borderlands show, which I'm pretty sure you've all heard about, we'd like to share some more details about how this event will function once it's live. To participate, you'll need to have progressed far enough in the story campaign to have unlocked Sanctuary 3, which happens early on. While Bloody Harvest is active, you'll notice a peculiar newcomer aboard your ship, Morris, a surprisingly friendly Saurian, who can speak to you via a device of Tennis's own invention. As Borderlands 3 creative director Paul Sage explained during the Borderlands show, Morris is your guide to all of Borderlands 3's seasonal events. When Borderlands Bloody Harvest begins, Morris will offer you a repeatable mission that must be completed in order to reach Heck, the spooky setting for Borderlands 3's Bloody Harvest. Morris kindly asks that you collect a certain amount of Hectoplasm, an item that drops from slain, haunted enemies. You'll encounter haunted enemies all over the galaxy during Bloody Harvest. You'll know them by their ghostly green glow. Once you've collected enough Hectoplasms, Morris will open a portal to Heck aboard Sanctuary 3 that will transport you to the creepy domain of Captain Haunt and his undead minions. Once you've managed to stop shaking in your boots at the sheer spookiness of Heck, You'll have to fight your way through an undead army of Maliwan soldiers who are rising from their graves with ambitions of revenge. You'll also encounter freaky fauna, including flying, fire-breathing rack lanterns and wretched rats that have gorged themselves on blood. Deep within the depths of Hex lies Captain Haunt, the bony final boss of Bloody Harvest. They're going to talk about collecting new gear and cosmetics. Your enemy in Heck have a chance to drop gear that will only be available during Bloody Harvest, including Fearmonger, a new legendary shotgun that packs a supernatural punch. You might also find anointed weapons that play off the new terror mechanic introduced in Bloody Harvest. Haunted enemies can inflict the terror debuff, which will affect your aim and partially cloud your vision. But with these new anointed effects, you can turn terror into a beneficial boost of power. There's also a set of seasonal cosmetic items which won't drop in heck, but are still exclusive to the Bloody Harvest event. During the event, you'll have a chance to earn a skin for each of the four Vault Hunters, which also applies to Mole's Mech Iron Bear and Flax Pets, a seasonal Echo Device skin, a shrunken head weapon trinket, and finally a ghostly global weapon skin. To unlock these items, you'll need to complete a new set of challenges that are exclusive to Bloody Harvest. Progress towards completing these challenges is tracked automatically, and each cosmetic item is unlocked via completing a certain number of these challenges. And we can see the exclusive uh, Water Hunter skins on screen now, which we've seen before. But we also get this, which basically gives us the rundown of what this event will offer. So that's pretty epic people. 
So I cannot wait for this event to begin on October 21st in a few days, which is going to be amazing. I can't wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, guys, let me know if you can about this down below within that comment section. Are you excited for Bloody Harvest? I know I am. But on that note, we have come to the end, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting the bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.